Hi, welcome to the Lux channel. So just a while ago, I shot a video episode uh, on uh, network latency and bandwidth. It is a quite long session. In that, uh, I discussed uh, various aspects of the same, and this is mainly uh, targeted for uh, network infrastructure architects and as well as network uh, admins. And uh, another uh, video episode, I thought, uh, let me do a quick follow up and let me do a small demo so that uh, I can show. Uh, how i can tweak out uh, uh, the various uh, parameters uh, uh, you know with respect to network latency in uh, toffee data center and as well uh, in the previous episode i discussed about uh, various aspects of network latency it's just not uh, you doing some ping tests and assessing the network uh, performance with just network latency alone it finally boils down to specific individual network uh, applications uh, there are applications which needs a high bandwidth or else high bit rate rather than just latency alone end of the day network latency is uh, all about how much delay it incurs or how much time it has to wait till it gets any kind of you know response so sometimes uh, if uh, there is lot of inter packet delays so if you send a packet and then uh, it takes lot of time to get a response of course it is going to increase the latency and as i said in the previous episode this may be due to uh, processing latency of intermediate devices it may have some kind of network processing uh, uh, you know devices some uh, security devices or some kind of vpn devices and it may have some latency in terms of processing the packets and other than that uh, generally you may have uh, a low speed network uh, you may have uh, uh, something like satellite networks in that case uh, uh you know you have the basic uh, you know limitation with respect to physics itself so in the conclusion uh, while i was <laughs> discussing about the toffee i said uh, that uh, you know uh, in the case of toffee we can conf various parameters and uh, i can uh, adjust the stack uh, uh, on each specific case by case basis and uh, in a Uh, specific situation i even mentioned uh, whenever there is a uh, uh, low rate of packets it has a different uh, latency and if you increase the rate of packets it is going to suddenly accelerate and it is going to change the you know latency uh, characteristics so i thought let me do a quick uh, demo so that uh, i can just show you guys uh, uh, exactly how it changes dynamically in the toffee so if you hop on uh, here uh, as i show in uh, various other episodes uh, i have this entire setup i have this uh, two toffee uh, data center devices and then uh, to which this uh, uh, vm uh, desktop is uh, connected and intermediate uh, you have also some uh, Uh, van emulation devices so that it cuts down and uh, it induces a sort of steady uh, uh, delay to these packets to simulate a long distance uh, van network so if you see here uh, if i ping uh, from this uh, vm desktop uh, to this uh, host machine or else the router we can just uh, see how much it is uh, you know inducing the latency without uh, tweaking around and uh, with basic configuration enabled in the toffee so let me do a ping uh, 192.168.0.88 so this is the host machine uh, uh, to which this vm desktop i'm pinging and before this if you see here uh, uh, open a tab if config you can see here its ip address is uh, 8.116 let me just uh, disable its direct connection instead let me enable it so that uh, it communicates via this van opt and van emulator devices so so currently again if you do if config you can see 8.118 this is connected via van emulator van optimization devices versus this is completely disconnected so if i connect this it directly connects to this uh, pf sense router and if i disconnect it is going to connect through this van opt van emulator devices and it will eventually connect to pf sense from pf sense it will connect to uh, the main uh, host desktop machine which is uh, you know 0.88 so if i ping with no changes uh, you can see here it has some uh, latency and uh, uh, this is going to be uh, somewhat Uh, consistent so what we can do is we can increase the rate of this you know ping session 0.1 and yes it is going to ask the sudo permission because we are trying to flood the network <laughs> 
so if i increase the rate it is going to little bit change around and there are more uh, packets which are uh, going to have less latency and the sort of combination and what i am going to do is i am going to uh, open another session and i am going to uh, do one more uh, ping session so that you can have some kind of even more flooding and this is going to simulate some kind of you know wipe data or something like that happening in the real network because this is what exactly i highlighted in the first episode that never take you know ping results and then just conclude uh, about the network performance finally it boils down to a specific network application and the network performance is all about how it is going to perform for that specific network application uh, we can uh, do one more uh, ping session Uh, we can do sudo ping uh, 192.168.0.88 uh, minus i 0.1 so that once again we do a high frequency uh, ping test so let me so if you see here uh, there are uh, two sessions which are enabled with this two sessions you may have uh, situations that uh, simultaneously you may have multiple uh, you know packets hitting out at the same uh, port uh, of these you know wan emulator and wan op devices so now what is happening is the toffee data center device is accelerating this kind of a scenario and since it is accelerating you can see suddenly there is a drop down of latency and it is no more in double digits so this is something uh, happening with the basic uh, uh, you know uh, default settings uh, Uh, set in the toffee data center as i said in the previous episode there are almost hundreds and hundreds of things i can change various parameters it all depends on what is the uh, specific use case uh, sometimes they may need it for gigabit network sometimes they may need it for uh, satellite network so if you see in that situation each use case is different uh, and uh, these settings are Uh, supposed to be uh, you know customized and modified and fine tuned for that you know specific requirements it's just not something you just take it and then put it across so to an extent i have configured for this kind of a scenario i have that uh, van emulator which does some amount of i mean which induces some amount of you know uh, latency of the fixed latency in the packet so you can see here it tries to optimize the same and sometimes it accelerates sometimes it takes time because you should also consider one more factor that it has some amount of processing latency and it is happening all in the vms uh, in the same system of course if it is something put on a dedicated device it is not going to be the case so so as a test what we can do is we can open one more <coughs> session and we can do one more session of ping and we can see how this is going to perform ping 168 0.1 and this time i can even ping to my router because it doesn't really matter it's just about uh, the wan tunnel between two points you know minus i 0.1 if i enter so in this case you can see here there is some kind of saturation and it is not much you know reduced so in this case you can see here since it is uh, you know the router is a little bit long distance compared to this you know uh, network which is all happening in the same wire and it is happening in the gigabit speed this is going to be a little bit different and if i cancel this and if i again change it back to 88 even this so that we have uh, you know three simultaneous ping sessions you know it is going to fluctuate if you now go here and if you compare each of this you know uh, uh ping session it is going to get that's kind of you know uh boost in performance or acceleration so if you see here this session is getting most of the times the double digits in the case of latency versus uh, this session most of the times it is in the single uh, digit and in this session it is also the case it is having a single uh, digit so if i cancel this and then if we get back here suddenly you can see here it is mostly in that you know uh, double digits but still it is not much like what you have seen before and if i cancel this and we retain just one ping session and we go to the third tab and you can see here 
it has this kind of you know uh, latency profile so we can cancel and then we can just reinitiate you can see here it is around 15 16 up to 20 25 uh, milliseconds so these are the various things i do this uh, kind of tests uh, quite often and what you have just seen is uh, still a basic test and we can do several uh, combinations what we can do is uh, we can also specify the size of these packets because this is just a, a basic ping packet with just few bytes. So we can even increase the size of the packet so that it is near MTU or more than MTU. You can just mention if it is more than MTU then it is going to fragment or chop these packets and it is again going to change the network characteristics and the performance you know, uh, uh, test results. So we mentioned 1500 or else uh, 1450 something like that. So now it is quite a significant size of packet. So you can see here uh, it is giving out this uh, you know measurement which is almost the same uh, as before. And if we go here and if you mention here uh, 1450 and you can see here in this case with two sessions it is drop down suddenly and most of the times it is in that single digit so various things happens in the toffee data center it does uh, that uh, acceleration of this data it all depends on uh, the frequency at which it is getting the packets and the more frequency it gets it has that room to optimize and accelerate this data and if you just uh, test it with a simple bare minimum uh, single uh, session TCP or something like that, you may not see the results much. For seeing something like that, you need to deploy in the real, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, real uh, setup so that uh, you get that real effect with multiple sessions. You may have multiple users at one site, you may have multiple users at another site and then you can exchange uh, the data and then you can analyze what is exactly happening in that you know, optimized channel. So you see here it is completely changed and if you hop on here and if you analyze the graphs, the graphs also looks quite different. If you see here this case with not much uh, the ping uh, packet size you can see here it is more symmetric in this case whatever it received uh, almost it has sent the same thing out versus if you see here it has received so much data but it has not sent much of the data in the van channels because it has optimized this uh, data and uh, as a part of optimization it has reduced the entire uh, uh, size of the data and similarly if you see here the packets uh, per second uh, it has received so and so packets uh, per se second rate but on the other side it has processed optimized and it has not sent many packets and instead it has uh, done that uh, stuffing or packaging and then it has reduced the amount of packets as well so this is also going to contribute uh, in terms of uh, high latency network where you have that high bit rate means you have that per packet getting transferred at high bit rate but you have this latency issue means you send a packet and it takes long time to get back a replay or uh, uh, a packet uh, uh, coming back from the other end so this is you know a situation where it is going to degrade the performance of uh, applications like uh, citrix uh, remote desktop uh, uh, connectivity or you have some kind of you know interactive uh, wipe and stuff like that this may not affect much in case if you are using it for any <coughs> sas applications or uh, some bulk file downloads and stuff like that so you can see here it completely changed the same and you can see the other side you have this uh, uh, since it is ping uh, you have that symmetric uh, data one side it goes uh, how, mu how much ever it goes from this side to other side similar uh, amount it is going to get back from the other side to this side as well so that is why you have this identical graph but this is not a case never you will find with any wipe uh, data or else uh, any kind of you know tcp file downloads or any website uh, browsing and stuff like that so this is only possible with ping uh, test data <laughs> and uh, what uh, we have seen is just a single application like you know ping data so since it is not going to match with any of this uh, it is not uh, being reflected over here and uh, uh, as an example if i cancel everything and then if i open some youtube or something 
in a website then we can start seeing the other graphs getting populated as well so let me open this uh, website uh, we give a few uh, you know seconds time uh, let me access some couple of pages here so that we can get some test uh, data yeah you can see here you can uh, you know monitor uh, the http data and uh, you can monitor https data dns and uh, stuff like that so if you go to tcp sessions uh, you can see here some amount of activity over there and uh, and uh, the other side of course there is no uh, inbound tcp sessions from that end to this end that is why it is not getting populated and in case if you open the other you know toffee data center device it you may have this curve over here and this may look empty so in this is something possible only in this lab like uh, setup but in case if you have a real setup between two uh, sites or branch offices you will find it in both ends because you may have the to and fro connections and you may have that packet exchanges from both the directions and uh, uh, you may have some employees accessing some servers over there you may have some employees accessing servers over here and all sorts of scenarios can be possible so this is a quick demo hope you guys uh, loved watching this video so like this i do uh, several tests and uh, i have uh, uh, lot of uh, unique uh, test cases and i have lot of other automation stuff so with this i am concluding this video thanks a lot for joining me hope you guys loved watching this video in case if you have anything to discuss uh, be in touch via mail thank you have a nice day bye bye